Ever wondered how cryptocurrency works? Well, let's embark on a journey to understand it. Picture money, but not the kind you can touch or hold in your wallet. Cryptocurrency is essentially digital or virtual currency, a form of payment that can be exchanged online for goods and services. It's like having an online version of cash or gold, but with a twist. Unlike conventional money which is regulated by a central authority like a government or bank, cryptocurrency operates on a technology called blockchain. A little over a decade ago in 2008, an unknown entity named Satoshi Nakamoto introduced Bitcoin, the first ever cryptocurrency. This revolutionary digital currency marked the birth of a new era in the financial world, paving the way for thousands of other cryptocurrencies. So when you hear the term cryptocurrency, think of it as a digital currency that uses cryptography for security, operating independently of a central bank. Cryptocurrency, in its simplest form, is digital or virtual money. Imagine a ledger that records every single transaction but instead of being held by a bank, it's distributed across a network of computers. This is blockchain. In the digital world we live in, blockchain technology is an ingenious solution that revolutionized the way we handle transactions. Picture this, a chain of blocks. But instead of physical structures, we're talking about digital blocks that store data. Each block records a list of transactions, and once it's full, a new block is created and linked to the previous one, forming a chain. But what makes blockchain so special? Well, it's all about decentralization. Unlike traditional transaction systems where a single authority like a bank verifies and records transactions, in a blockchain, multiple participants called nodes do this job. Each node has a copy of the entire blockchain, and they all work together to validate new transactions. This brings us to the concept of consensus. When a new transaction is made, it's broadcasted to all the nodes in the network. The nodes then work together to verify the transaction. If a majority of nodes agree that the transaction is valid, it's added to the blockchain. This process ensures that only legitimate transactions are recorded. But how does this relate to cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are built on blockchain technology. Each transaction made with Bitcoin is recorded on a block, and once that block is full, it's added to the Bitcoin blockchain. This provides a public, transparent record of all transactions ever made with Bitcoin. Moreover, blockchain technology ensures the security of cryptocurrencies. Since the blockchain is decentralized and every node has a copy of the entire blockchain, it's nearly impossible to alter past transactions. This makes cryptocurrencies secure against fraud and double spending. In essence, blockchain technology is not just the heart, but the arteries, the veins, and the lifeblood of cryptocurrencies. It's the technology that allows cryptocurrencies to function as a decentralized, secure, and transparent form of digital currency. Blockchain technology is the backbone of cryptocurrency, providing a secure and transparent way to record transactions. Ever heard of cryptocurrency mining and wondered what it's all about? Well, let's dive into this intriguing aspect of the cryptocurrency world. At its core, cryptocurrency mining is the process by which new coins are created and transactions are verified and added to a public ledger called the blockchain. Now, this isn't your everyday kind of mining. You won't find any pickaxes or hard hats here. Instead, you'll find powerful computers tirelessly crunching numbers. Imagine this, you're a miner in the digital realm. But instead of digging for gold, you're using your computer to solve complex mathematical problems. These problems are essentially the keys that lock each block of transactions. Solve the problem and you unlock the block, verifying all of its transactions. Once verified, these transactions are added to the ever-growing blockchain. But why go through all this trouble? Well, the answer lies in the reward. In the world of cryptocurrency, miners are rewarded with new coins for each block they verify. This is how new coins are introduced into the system, a process akin to a central bank issuing new money. However, unlike a central bank, the rate at which new coins are created and the maximum supply are predetermined and public knowledge, ensuring transparency and trust in the system. Now you might be thinking, if everyone's racing to solve the same problem, won't there be multiple winners? Not quite. The beauty of the system lies in its design. The first miner to solve the problem gets the reward. This competitive nature ensures that the network remains decentralized, with no individual or group having an undue influence. So, in essence, cryptocurrency mining is a race, a race to solve a mathematical puzzle. It's a competition where the swiftest and the smartest get to add the latest block to the chain, and in return, get rewarded with new coins. And that's the beauty of it. 
It's a system that's built on fairness, transparency, and a touch of mathematical elegance. Cryptocurrency mining is essentially a race to solve a mathematical puzzle, with the winner adding the latest block to the chain and getting rewarded with new coins. What gives cryptocurrency its value, and how can you use it? These are questions that often baffle beginners. Let's start by understanding what gives cryptocurrency its value. The value of a cryptocurrency isn't derived from a physical asset, but from factors such as supply and demand, utility and market sentiment. It's quite similar to how the stock market works. When more people want to buy a cryptocurrency, and less people want to sell it, the price tends to rise. Conversely, if more people are selling a cryptocurrency than buying it, the price tends to fall. Cryptocurrency also gains its value from its utility, the problems it can solve and the needs it can meet. For instance, Bitcoin, the first cryptocurrency, was designed as a digital alternative to traditional money, enabling quick, cost-effective and borderless transactions. So, the more useful a cryptocurrency is, the more demand there will be for it, and thus the higher its value. Market sentiment, which is influenced by news, public perception and trends, also plays a crucial role in determining a cryptocurrency's value. Positive news can drive up demand, while negative news can cause a sell-off. Now let's move on to how and where you can use cryptocurrencies. As digital money, cryptocurrencies can be used for online transactions. Some businesses accept cryptocurrencies as payment for goods and services. You can also use them for peer-to-peer -peer transactions thanks to the decentralized nature of blockchain technology. But cryptocurrencies aren't just digital cash. Many people use them as an investment hoping the value will increase over time. Some see them as digital gold, a new way to store value for the future. Furthermore, cryptocurrencies can be used in smart contracts, fundraising for projects, and even in building decentralized applications. In essence, the value of a cryptocurrency is determined by its utility, demand, and the trust people place in the technology behind it. So, now you've taken your first steps into the world of cryptocurrency. We've journeyed together through the fascinating landscape of this digital revolution. We delved into the heart of cryptocurrency, understanding it as a digital or virtual form of currency that uses cryptography for security. We've explored the backbone of this system, the blockchain technology, a decentralized ledger recording all transactions across a network of computers. We've also ventured into the minds of this digital realm, unraveling the process of cryptocurrency mining, where powerful computers perform complex calculations to validate transactions and add them to the blockchain. Lastly, we discuss the value and use of cryptocurrency, emphasizing that its worth is determined by supply and demand, and its uses range from investments to purchases. Cryptocurrency may seem complex, but with a basic understanding of its components, anyone can begin to navigate this digital frontier.